We are solving two-step equations. They have two steps. Now, here's the equation. Some of you could look at this and find out what number makes this true. But it's better to think of the unpacking it first. And the way you do that is you basically got to get x by itself. To get x by itself, the first thing you need to do is get rid of this minus 5. So the opposite of minus 5 is add 5. And what you do to one side, you also have to do the other. So when you add that 5 there, you end up with 3x. 4 plus 5 is 9. We now have a new equation. We added 5 to both sides. We have a new equation. Now, some people can look at this and go, oh, it's 3. Because we now have a one-step equation. So what are we going to do now? We have to solve for x. To solve for x, how is this? This is 3 times x. The opposite of times is divide. So what you're going to do is divide by 3. And for your second step, 9 divided by 3 is 3. So if you plug 3 back in, 3 times 3 is 9. 9 minus 5, does that get you 4? Yes. Two-step equation. Okay. Number 2, I want to get the n by itself. So i got to get rid of this 6. So that is a positive 6. How do you get rid of it? You minus 6. And what you do to one side, you also have to do the other. That disappears, leaving you negative n. And negative 1 minus 6, or negative 1 and negative 6, is negative 7. Now, some people might think they're done. But that's negative n is negative 7. So how do we get rid of that negative off the n? Well, you got to think of that negative as a negative 1. So to get rid of a negative 1, you divide by negative 1. That's done. n equals 7. Because a negative 7 divided by negative 1 is positive 7. If you plug that back in, does 6 minus 7 give you negative 1? Yes. Last one. Now, it's a little bit different because the h is on the right side, but that doesn't matter. We still solve it, leaving h on the right side. That's OK. So I'm going to get the negative 6h by itself. That's a negative 7, so the opposite of negative 7 is plus 7. That's gone. Bring down the 6h, negative. Oh, if I add 7 here, i got to add 7 on this side. That gives me 15 equals negative 6h. So I want to get the h by itself. So that's negative 6 times h. The opposite of times is divide. So I'm going to divide by negative 6, which cancels nicely leaving me h, negative 6, because that's a positive, and negative 6. Both sides by negative 6. Now, we cannot, can we reduce 15 over negative 6? Yes. yes. 3 goes into both those. 3 goes into 15 5 times. 3 goes into 6 2 times. Now, I don't like my answers. I like my h on the left side, so do you understand I could just flip-flop these? So what is h equal? Well, five. if I have 5 divided by negative 2, isn't my answer negative? Yes. If one of them is negative, the answer is negative. Now, could I have left the negative on the bottom? Yes. Yeah. Could I also put it in the middle? Yes. Could I also put it on top? Yes. Because if I put it in any of those spots, the answer is negative. It's just nicer. I usually like to put it right in the middle. If you plug this back in, you should get a true statement. So again, to solve these two steps, the first step is to get the variable by itself. The second step is to get the number off the variable. That's solving two-step